Hi my beauties, welcome back to my channel. So today I have my first ever Q&A video and I'm excited and um, you guys asked me so many questions and a lot of them are repeated questions but I'm going to go ahead and try to answer them as many as I can. Um, there's 147 and then some on Twitter and also Facebook. So I'm going to go ahead and just read them off my phone and just answer them to you guys. So yeah, let's get started. So on Twitter, um, I have Sachini asked me, what camera do you use for filming? Well, right now I use my Canon Rebel T4i. And then on Facebook, I have Jackie Jimenez ask me, when you were living in Mexico, did you find it difficult to buy makeup? Yes, girl, it was so hard. I was living in Tijuana, Guanajuato, and the state of Mexico. And I literally would have to drive all the way up to LF to go to a mall and, you know, buy MAC stuff or either go to a Sephora or either go to Michoacan and this other mall and try to find my makeup because it is so hard to find makeup in Mexico. And even if you go to like Walmart or something, they have the very old drugstore products like all the new products coming out here in the US don't come out like till two months later or maybe even more at, at Mexico. So it's really very, very, very hard. But I also have Evelia Macias. What age did you move to the US? Well, when I was a year and a half, my parents brought me here to the US. So I don't really remember anything of this. From Drugstore Dreamer and it says, are you married? And she also commented another one saying, what do you do other than YouTube? So yes, I am married. I've been happily married for almost five years, which is going to be crazy because in March is when my anniversary is coming up. And um, I had already mentioned in my vlog channel that I was going to quit my other job and I already did. So pretty much this is all I do. Johem underscore Seta says, do you have any kids or plan on having any? And also where do you work? Okay, so... I do have um I do plan on having kids just not right now. First I want to get married and then probably buy a home and then get myself situated and then maybe plan on having my babies. So the next question is PZRX says where were you born? I was born in Amatepec, Mexico, which is in the state of Mexico. And yeah, I love it there. And then my next question is from Yvonne E Vet. It says meet or greet anytime. I don't know. I'm very nervous when it comes to meeting you guys because I just get all these butterflies and I start getting anxiety attacks and I'm not good with anxiety. I That's probably something you guys don't know, but I get anxiety attacks. When we were even going to like the events for IMATS and everything, my friend Marisol, which is like one of my best friends, she would notice like right away like something's wrong with you. She's like, you, you're getting too nervous and you're acting weird and everything. And it's because like these like this anxiety starts happening in me and I try to pretend everything's cool like nothing's going on like I, I try my hardest to pretend that but inside I'm like my my heart is like racing really really hard I get this like stomach aches and stuff and it's just very hard on me but I also don't feel like I'm that big on YouTube for anybody to come I feel like it's only gonna be like 10 people or something but um I would love to meet you guys maybe sometime in the future maybe in the summertime maybe um i would want to know where i would, would have my meet and greet though like here where i live or in la because that's where everybody mostly is um but if you guys want me to i would gladly have one just let me know where though because i don't know where all of you guys are um but yeah for sure i would love to have a meet and greet with you guys susan cm says how old were you where did you meet the love of your life and how did he how did you know he was the one i'm right now 23 years old i met him here in my town we were at a bus stop i was with my brother and um i saw him and i was like damn <laughs> and he saw me too but he says that he thought my brother was like my boyfriend or something because me and my brothers don't look alike or anything but he thought like that was my boyfriend and that he was too embarrassed to go up to me obviously because he thought i was with a boyfriend or something and um but yeah that's how we met and then that was in a summer and then when we went when i went back to school i had just realized that he was in the same school as me so i was like <laughs> and then he started talking to me and you know that's how it just all went but the first time we ever saw each other and right away like liked each other was at a bus stop which is kind of weird everybody says that it's love at first sight some people believe in that some people don't i 
totally believe in it <laughs> oh and how did i know he was the one well you just feel it um there's a lot of things that tie into that question um basically first of all i have never met anybody that makes me so happy and laugh so hard as much as he has and also i've never met anybody that makes me so mad like he does like he is that one person that is like totally totally different from all the men that i've met which i hardly ever met even met any men but um he just makes me the most happiest and the most angriest person like he has the best of me and everything um but he always no matter what brings out the best in me and that's what i love about him he is like my number one supporter oh my god i'm just gonna start getting like emotional right now but i love him so so much and i don't take him for granted like he is the one thing that i <laughs> <laughs> I just know he's the one. <laughs> Thym underscore L. It says, you have an Arabian booty. Did you know that? Yes, I do. <laughs> Everybody always um, thinks I'm anything but Mexican. Humble Chick One says, what bad habits do you have? Oh, I have so many. But the one habit that I hate for my, like that I hate about myself is that I might be on my phone or I might be distracted. I don't even know what other people are talking about around me and all of a sudden i have something to say and i just say it like and i'm rude and it's rude because sometimes i like i i'm just like they're having their own conversation and i'm just like i just blurb out this like random thing like it's i hate that about me and a lot of my friends tell me like okay that was random <laughs> but the, the, that's how i am and i don't like that about myself but that is the one bad habit i have and i always find that in my that my family is always telling me like shut up like they're talking or something you know and that's the one bad habit that i hate <laughs> um gg underscore 9105 says i always hear you saying my husband but then i hear you're planning a wedding did you married in civil ceremony and now you're planning the religious one yes i am married that's why i call him my husband if not i wouldn't call him my husband i got married five years ago through civil and now we're planning our religious wedding which in mexican culture that is like the biggest thing because you can only get married once through there like if he's the one he's the one and that's who you're gonna stay with for the rest of your life well you don't really have to if there's something that you can't work out but in god that is your soulmate so i mean that's a real big thing and I'm happy about it. <laughs> M-A underscore um, Rocio says, If you could only use one beauty product in your whole life, what would it be? What's your favorite food? One beauty product that I would probably just use is a foundation. But one foundation that it will make my skin look dewy, not flat out. Because if you don't apply blush or anything, I mean, I feel like you could look flat. And my favorite food, tacos. <laughs> Lana underscore Poo underscore says, What are your favorite drugstore products? well my favorite drugstore products are mascaras mascaras are amazing in drugstore i don't like to splurge on a high-end one the only one i do like to splurge on is the benefit one but other than that mascaras are my number one favorite products from the drugstore and she also asked what are some good tips for a successful youtube career stay true to yourself no matter what you will go through all these people and meet so many people but always remain true to yourself if you remain true to yourself, people will love you for that and that is how you're going to have a successful YouTube. Other than that, everything else will roll in on its own. T. Justin I. Annie <laughs> says, do you know how to cook Mexican food? What's your favorite dish to prepare? Yes, I do know. I'm very lazy at cooking. Let me tell you that. I am the number one person that you will beg and beg for me to cook and I'll still say no because I'm so lazy and I hate cooking i absolutely hate it but i do know how to cook and my favorite one to do is probably enchiladas or either flautas if you guys know um what that is but yeah that's like probably like my favorite thing to do day 11 39 says who is your youtube idol and inspiration i have quite a few and for different reasons and i'll name my top three at the moment one of them is nicole girl like she works her ass for that channel on her own and i appreciate that from her you know like i i see that and it just inspires me to do it you know even harder on my channel and then the other one that i always 
look up to is Jaclyn Hill. She does everything for the love of makeup. Like, you right away see that. And even if you, like, when you meet these people in person, because I go to beauty events as well, so I get to meet them more in a personal side, like how they really truly are, not who they're trying to seem like they are. Jaclyn Hill is always the same person, no matter what. She is true to herself. I love that about her. She's truly an inspiration. She is very, very humble, and I just love that about her. And also, Carly Bible. A lot of people look at her like if she was like some kind of stuck-up bitch or anything, but truly, she's the very sweetest person ever. And she works hard on her channel to be where she's at right now. So those are three very inspirational women that I look up to. Underscore Viva Laval says, Where are... When are you going to start making more tutorials? Soon. After my wedding's over, I'm absolutely going to go crazy on YouTube trying to make as many tutorials as I can for you guys. But right now, right now at the moment, it's very hard for me. And like right now, I'm about to head out the door. So it's really hard for me to make tutorials right now. But I hope you guys are being patient with me. Mel Lindy says, For eyeshadow you ever bought? It was Mary Kay. I still remember because... A friend of mine, or well, her mom, was selling it. And that was like the first eyeshadows that I bought. It wasn't just one. It was kind of a different one. It was a cotton candy pink and a cotton candy baby blue. And I would wear both of them on my eyes. <laughs> I was 15, okay? Like, <laughs> Moses Marsha says, when is the wedding and are you excited? Yes, I'm very, very excited. I can't wait. Um... But the wedding is on February 14th, which is on Valentine's Day. It just happens to be on a Saturday. And I've been waiting for this day forever. Like, for the past two years, I noticed that it was going to hit on a Saturday. Let me tell you guys, it's the most, most expensive time of the year to make a wedding. I don't recommend it to anybody, but whatever. Tats1216 says, what are your top five eye creams and moisturizers? I don't really have a lot. The only one I really, 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 really love is the Ponce and the Emerald Lease that I'm um, currently using. Those two, I will always recommend. Evelyn San Jose says, are you going to film your wedding for us? That would be great. You're so beautiful. I love you. I love you too. And yes, I will have a video for you guys of like the cool thing. It's going to be in a little short video. Maricela x3 says what is your biggest regret and accomplishment my biggest regret is probably graduating early from high school i did not get to experiment so much of my high school um, an accomplishment is is doing this you guys like youtube like i never thought that my youtube would ever grow valerio alexa says did you go to college and if so what's your major um after high school like i said i graduated early and did not do anything for a whole year I moved out, went to Mexico, traveled, didn't do nothing, and then I came back and I tried going back to college and then that is not my thing. Uh-uh. I love learning new things and everything, don't get me wrong, but to major in something and be there at school, that's not me. <laughs> like, that is honestly not me. But I did go to um, Santa Barbara City College. Um, Ivara Melissa says, Have you ever played soccer? What's your favorite soccer team besides Cholos? Yes, all my life I have played soccer. Up until high school, I stopped. And my favorite soccer, um, I would say, has to be Barcelona other than Cholos because that's Mexican league. And yeah, Cholos, that's it. I don't really go, I don't really watch anybody else. If it's Cholos or Barcelona, I... I'm all there. <laughs> Dev Galindo 91 it says, Is it awkward for you, for you and your hubby to be intimate while your mom is in the same household or have you already gotten used to it? Um, where I live is actually very different. It's a condo. So my mom lives all the way on the other side of the whole condo. So there's nothing really in between us. Like She's all the way on the other side. If you guys watch my vlog channels, you guys know her room is all the way out, out there. And my brothers are never home. Son como pinches gatos. <laughs> They're never home. They're always coming home every other week or something. So it basically seems like we live by ourselves. Like it's totally separate. So no, it's not weird. <laughs> Bonis, where did you purchase your Emma Matt's outfit? Which is the beige skirt and the white crop top. So the white crop top, I bought it at Jade Clothing. And my pencil skirt, I got it at 
Forever 21, which was an amazing deal. I got it for $8, you guys. And the crop top was a little pricey. It was $40. And I'll link the crop top down below because um, I know a lot of people who were asking me about it. So I'll have it linked down below. Yeah, yeah says, do you know who La Llorona is? Yes, I do know who it is. It's like this lady that killed, supposedly killed all her children and then drowned them or something like that. And ever since she starts crying and I don't know, it's just like a Mexican thing that, yeah, but yeah, I do know who she is. <laughs> Pretty things underscore Z says Santa or the Easter Bunny? Um, neither. <laughs> I don't really believe in any of that stuff and never have. My parents never really talked about like Santa Claus or Easter. Only at school you hear it, but never really like paid attention to it m sench 306 says um i'm gonna read it in spanish and then in english she says por qué decidiste empezar a hacer videos en youtube y qué te gusta más los dulces ácidos con chile y limón o los muy muy dulces by the way i just subscribed recently to your channel and i love it saludos in new mexico and now in english she's asking me what candy do i prefer the one that's very spicy with lemon or the very very sweet ones and i personally love the chile con limon the chile with lemon like all the spiciness i love pretty things underscore z also asked me if you could be an any animal what would it be and why i would be a bird i want to fly <laughs> that's who that's what i would be omg lashes says what's the story behind your youtube name well there was never really any thought put into it it just like right away a five second thing like i wanted my channel to be about beauty so i incorporated that beauty my first initial, I put it in the back so that way it's beauty, why, and then bird because my nickname is birdie. So I just put bird. That's how it came up. Like nothing really more to it. Meche underscore one said, you said you started your YouTube while in Mexico. Were you there by choice or what made you come back to the state? By the way, I love your videos. Thank you. Um, I am going to be doing a Draw My Life video because I also saw a question that somebody asked me if I want if I could do a Draw My Life video. I am going to do that and explain all of my life pretty much up until now, how what I've gone through and everything. So that I'll explain there why I was there. B-R-E-E -E, Real underscore says, will you ever have a meetup in the 805? And when do you and Valentin plan on having kids do you have a snapchat if so what's your username um i don't know if i want to have a meet up here in the 805 where i am because that's my area code but it, i'm always out i mean i go hiking i go shopping i mean if just i mean it's a really small area so i think like i'm always everywhere i'm always here in carpinteria i'm always walking around i take hikes and i go for runs i go to the gym i mean i'm always in santa barbara doing my brows shopping and then i go to oxnard and ventura i mean i'm always everywhere and i always see a lot of you guys and you know i don't think i need to have one you will always see me around i'm never really that much at home so yeah and like i said i plan on having my kids after my marriage and my home and i do have a snapchat it's beauty bird so if you guys have snapchat go ahead and add me because i add everybody hey summer underscore cm favorite position really <laughs> makeup junkie 21 says do you get cranky when on your period i don't get cranky i get emotional which i don't think nobody really gets emotional everybody else gets super cranky i get really emotional if you scream at me that day i'll start crying if you make me mad i'll be a fucking devil that day <laughs> sorry for my language but i'm very weird <laughs> makeup junkie 21 also asks what do you do if a girl checks out your husband la fala if you don't want to get punched in the face, you better stop staring at my husband. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, um, if she just checks him out, I don't really give a damn. You could look at him, try to pretend anything or whatever. If you start talking to him, if you get close to him, if you touch my husband, oh God, you will be sorry. Fab S j underscore says have you ever broken up with valentine for something stupid yes like when you're a boyfriend and girlfriend you break up for the stupidest things ever and i think everybody has gone through that marcella f baby says what school did you go to to learn how to do makeup i didn't go to school like i said i didn't even no i just didn't go to school or anything i have always 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 been self-taught justa underscore makeup lover says when you first started your youtube channel what were some difficulties you had to overcome and how did you overcome them 
Um, when I first started my YouTube channel, I really didn't go through anything. I've never gone through any obstacles on YouTube. Pretty much, I don't really find any obstacles. I'm not trying to be, I'm not trying to be famous. I'm not trying to, you know, do anything like super big or anything. I do plan in the future maybe doing something in the makeup thing but right youtube is like my passion this is my thing and if i could get money for it and be rewarded great but i mean honestly never makeup lover 91 says when are you coming to puerto rico can you give makeup tips and tricks on how you gain subscribers on youtube can you do a draw my life video are you going to film your wedding for us and p.s i love watching your videos don't ever quit you're one of my favorite beauty gurus thank you um i don't know where i'm go when i'm going to go to puerto rico i do wish to go there very very soon i plan on traveling a lot this year um but i don't know if puerto rico is the place that my husband would want to go like i need to ask him but the tips and tricks of how to gain subscribers, there really is no trick. Like people will subscribe to your channel if you put out great content and they see that you're true to yourself and everything. People, I always see these people always trying to do collaborations and trying to do shout outs and all this stuff. And it's like people are not going to subscribe just because of that. You know, it doesn't mean it's going to guarantee you to get subscribers or anything. Maybe it'll expose your work or something. But if people really love your channel, they are the ones that are going to subscribe. You can't force people to subscribe to your channel channel and you can't buy subscribers i mean what's the point then like what are you trying to do then on youtube you know um you really shouldn't focus on the number of people you really should focus on the audience you already have and try to make the best of that and i will do a draw my life video it, i don't know how soon it will be up but i'm gonna try as soon as i can um to have it up for you guys and of course i am going to film my wedding for you guys why james I hope I'm saying this right. Seven says, I feel like you're an accurate representation of a Latino beauty guru because you embrace your culture and speak Spanish in your blog. In my opinion, you've created a successful channel, but what do you what do you think it takes for a Latina to make it in the beauty community? And what advice would you give to other Latinas who would like to start a channel and also cater to two audiences? Thanks. Thank you. You're so sweet. Um honestly, what it takes is you guys you guys that support me and accept me for who i am i am not embarrassed of who i am or where i come from or my background i love representing who i am and i love my country i love my people i love my food my music everything and my vlog channel you really notice that i don't hide who i am i talk spanglish and people complain that like people complain a lot about it because they feel like that I should only speak one, one language at the same time, but that's not who I am. I, I speak Spanglish. If you meet me in person, you hang out with me one day, I am going to talk to you in Spanish and English. I'm so happy for you to tell me that I represent the uh, Latina beauty guru very well, but I feel like I still have a long way to go. Honestly, my Spanish is not the very greatest. On my Spanish channel, a lot of people criticize my Spanish. I don't speak it very well. I don't know a lot of words. I it looks like I just came out of the fucking ranch or something, but um, my way of talking is very, very slang. I don't speak it properly. It's so hard to cater to two audiences. Um, some people really want you to be focused on, the, on the, your Spanish. Some people really want you to be focused more on your English. My priority is my English because that's where I am most comfortable and know more how to speak it. Uh, I know some words I mispronounce them because obviously I'm not, you know, very influenced in English as well because I'm Spanglish and it's just so hard and a lot of people don't understand it. But I was raised speaking Spanglish. Like some words I don't know them in English and I have to say them in Spanish and it's just very hard. But honestly, for a Latina to make it in the beauty community is for you guys to support them back. That's all it is. Um, other than that. Who would they be? How would you know about them? It's you guys that make the people, you know, make it. So that's why I think people should be more grateful towards their audience. I've seen so many other gurus that just don't even care. But um, it makes me mad because I'm like, bitch, you wouldn't be here because it wasn't for them, you know? <laughs> but yeah, it's you guys that make the people make it, you know? So that's what it is. I hope I made sense. <laughs> Zoom B... 
Viri says, how did you get that scar in between your chin and jaw? And why did you get married so young? Um, a lot of people always ask me about why my chin is a little to the side. I This side of my face was, how do you say it? Was paralyzed. Um, I don't know why it happened. Um, my mouth just kind of went off to the side. And I had to go through a lot of therapy and everything. And so far, it's almost okay it's still to the side it's very obvious sometimes it's sometimes not even obvious but yeah why did i get married so young well i'm in love if he asked me of course i'm gonna say yes i love the guy so those are all the questions for today i know i've answered so many but i really wanted to answer as many as i can that way you guys get to know more about me because i know i usually i don't ever really talk about myself a lot um so yeah that's why i really wanted to answer these questions for you guys so i really hope you guys enjoyed my first q a and let me know how often you guys want me to do these um maybe every other six months or something i don't know but yeah so with that my loves thank you guys so much for watching and i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys in my next video bye Mwah.